What's happening, people? Have you guys ever bought anything at the store and wondered what the hell you actually got? We're curious about how they made it, but what we're really curious about is how well they made it. So my name's Dr. Hunwick. I have an MD and a biology degree and a physics degree, and uh, it goes on and on, but it's really not important. So what we'd like to know really is how well stuff is made. Okay, so what we've done in order to stress this glass to its maximum point, we're just going to add a candle flame to it directly, but we decided that a better way to do this would be to be a little bit more creative. I have here the back end of a refrigerator magnet, and what we've done is gone to the beach and pulled these uh, iron filings straight out of the sand. They actually just appear there naturally. So what we're going to do is add some iron filings to the glass. We've improvised using a parking ticket that you often get when attending the beach in Venice, California. And now what we're going to do is add a piece of steel. So we have a uh, razor that we've uh, already done a little bit of experimenting with. And we're going to pull out a piece of the steel. So what we're going to do is pull a piece of steel from this and add it to our system. So basically, the piece of steel should uh, conduct, through the photoelectric effect, in the microwave. Uh, enough heat to the iron filings to really stress this glass. Basically, we want to heat up the electrons to a point where the system becomes, uh, well, hopefully unstable. We'll see. But right now, what we're going to do is take the iron filings and our piece of steel and add it to the microwave system. Well, the photoelectric effect indicates that the steel should eventually heat up to the point where it sparks, like that. The uh, iron filings are transmitting that heated energy to the glass. <laughs> it looks like we stressed it enough. <laughs> I guess we should have left the plate in there. to touch or not. We'll, we'll probably find that this, the, uh, the heat was transmitted to a central part of the glass. So you can see here what happened is the heat transfer fused the iron filings together and attached them to this piece of glass. Since the temperature wasn't hot enough to melt the iron, it's just loosely attached to itself and will crumble if you touch it. Okay, so we've cleaned up the microwave a little bit. And what the hell just happened? Basically, if you took a nucleus of an atom about this large, the electrons are orbiting on the exterior. For an elect and a nucleus this size, the electrons would actually be approximately a thousand yards away. That's ten football fields. So the electrons in the outer orbit are responsible for all the chemistry that takes place in, in chemical reactions. In this case, the electrons are what's responsible for the heat being transferred from, in this case, the microwave to the steel to the glass. The heat heats up the electrons in the outer orbit, transferring their excitation generates heat. That's all we did. <laughs> 